All right, here we are at uh, Chris Cron's basement. Uh, we are playing some mid-war. It's very cold outside, so why not play uh, some desert-style armies? Uh, we are going to be doing free-for-all. We're doing 71 points, because that's the Canadian Nationals uh, mid-war list and the just Battlefront Nationals uh, tournament list for 2018. And uh, I'm going to be running the Italians out of Avanti. And Chris is running uh, Africa Corps. Africa Corps. We've got our lists going already. Um, why don't you just tell us what you got there? Yeah, I've got uh, one formation of Panzer threes. Panzer so, three with the regular guns, long so guns. One long gun in the the headquarter, this one here. Yeah. And one long gun in the uh, platoon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then I have a formation of infantry, uh, MG, MG rifle, uh, MG thirty four infantry. So it looks like it's all the fixins. You've got the light mortar guys. The I, I don't have the light mortar guys. The only no. thing I took is uh, the the normal. Oh, the that's right. Because for these guys, the light mortar is is additional, right? Yeah, it is additional. I would have to pay for it. It's an it's eight, uh, eight what's eight the it's the little PBZ forty one that comes with. That's it. right. I, I don't it's have really it. It's really good. I'm, I'm playing with the anti tank rifle. Anti tank yeah. rifle for now to simulate. I have pack forty simulating uh, pack, uh, you know, the five centimeter anti tank guns. Yeah. And I have the uh, anti aircraft guns in the back. I didn't know if you were going to bring your plane or not. You know I, what? I've I just glued the magnet on the second plane, so that'll be next time. Excellent. I have a Reiki, obviously. Eight reds. And I have three uh, uh, martyrs. martyrs. Three. Right yeah. on. So this is straight out of Africa Corps, even though, I mean, you're rocking uh, Eastern Front, it looks like here. It, I am, yeah. I've got a nice Eastern Front table with all the uh, yellow um, fields and such. Um, you've got your cards ready. Yeah. Um, you've got your list here, so I can remember when I go to do the actual write-up. Um, I'm running the Italian, so I've got two companies as well. I've got Bersaglieri Rifle Company. I've got a Kari Company, which is tanks, and I've got some support. Um, looking at lists is lame, so why don't we just go through what I've got. So here's my two 90mm AA guns mounted on the trucks. These things are kind of weird um, in that they're unarmored tank teams, which means they can be pinned, which means they can't assault anything. They have a 4 plus save all around, and they do have a gun shield. So it's kind of weird. So they can be pinned. Oh, and br like if you have brutal... You can force me to reroll the saves. Uh, my other piece of support is uh, three Auto Blindo 41 scout cars. Um, my tank company. Um, this guy here in the middle is the old uh, Caro, uh, the, the command Caro. I'm just using it as the command tank because it's nice and easy. Uh, I can take Semoventes or M1441, so these are my old mid-war monster Semoventes, why not? I actually painted them up today. Uh, so that's the HQ for this formation. Uh, one platoon of Semoventes, and then two platoons of four um, uh, M1441s rounds out that formation. And then I've got another formation, an infantry formation. I've got uh, Bersaglieri Rifles. Uh, so each of these um, sections here have five um, infantry, and I've got the CO attached here. I've got uh, two 81mm mortars, so these guys have 48-inch range, which is nice. Um, there's no observer for them. You have to take a uh, unit of 100mm howitzers to get the observer, so they'll just have to self-observe. Um, I've got a second unit of rifles, of uh Rifle MG guys um, with the two IC, and then a unit of four Elephantino guns. So these things are, remember how in version three they were man packed? Uh, they are still, uh, they have a tactical of eight and a dash of 12, so they move exactly like infantry uh, and still have a 24 inch range and AT6, so that's not bad. So <clears throat> that's where we're at. We haven't rolled to see who gets uh, what side, although I'll, I'm always lazy. I'll probably pick this side. Uh, so we'll catch after deployment. One thing to note, um, after deployment, but before the first turn, I roll the 8 million bayonet dice. Um, it's not as wacky as it used to be. Remember how it used to be, you know, it could be really bad or really good. Now it's just straight up. You have regular stats, and if you roll, it's basically on a 5 or 6. 
um, they become elite um, and they get some some boosts. Uh, it's usually to skill and uh, to motivation. Uh, on some units, it does it makes almost no difference, but we'll we'll get to that when we, when we get to that. All right, we are all set and deployed. Um, I'll go through what I did. It was a very good chess match deployment uh, with free for all. You go back and forth when you each. Did a sneaky move of uh, spearhead. I mean, I can only spearhead eight inches with the um, AB41. So two of them went over here, one of them over here on the off chance, because uh, that is a hill, it's hard to see, but in case I wanted to deploy anything up there, uh, ended up not doing it. My Semoventes are in this forest. Elephantinos are here. Um, my 90 millimeter Lancias are in this forest. I've got mortars back here. Uh, their job is to basically start firing at uh, the uh, anti tank guns over there. You know, I did. For I forgot to put my uh, ranged in markers, but that's just me forgetting. I've got my two units of infantry ready to bum rush the town. He's got some infantry over there to defend. As soon as I put this unit of tanks, he put his martyrs uh, hull down on the other side of the hill. So if he goes first, they're dead. If I go first, I'll hopefully I'll be able to traverse over here. Uh, he used his eight rads uh, to go in here um, and then deployed his AA guns to mow down my infantry. Uh, and what else has he got? Oh, yeah, his two units of tanks are over here. So uh, we shall see. Um, so real quick. I have to roll for each of my units to see um, what their stats are. And all it is is just the improved stats, so it's nothing huge. So are these guys improved, five or six? No. These guys, are they improved? Yes. The infantry are improved. This infantry is not improved. The mortars, pointless, but they are improved. Uh, the 90 millimeter Lancias are improved even though it does nothing for them. The Elephantinos, this I actually want so I could blitz and move them but I can't. Um, the Scout Cars, no. The Semoventes, these are another one I want. No, of course not. Uh, I guess my CO technically, uh, no. And that is that. So I've only got three improved, so four improved units. All it does is increase their stats slightly. Uh, and at this point, um, Actually, it's meeting engagement, so I, I wouldn't be able to fire artillery the first round anyways. So that is that. We'll uh, catch after turn one. So my turn one, we learned a thing or two. I, I got the role to go first. Um, and as I mentioned, deployment. If I went first, I was going to shimmy these guys over as much as possible. Um, asked the big question, which is, were the AA half tracks armored or unarmored and they're unarmored which means they just have a four plus save they can be pinned um, they're concealed and gone to ground but because I didn't need to take a firepower test um, each of these M1441 has if you look on the MG line has six MG shots on the move so I shot 24 shots and with I got eight hits no seven hits seven so I popped both AA um, with this unit here. This unit here needed sixes with the um, 47 millimeters, failed. Um, these guys failed to dig in. These guys didn't do anything. The Semoventes, um, one tried to cross to get four shots in on those pens or threes over yonder. Um, I missed because I needed fives to hit. Uh, and that ends my half of turn one. So in just so to let you know, these are also unarmored tank teams, so can be pinned, but they do have a gun shield. Okay. Which just grants them bulletproof cover, so if you're shooting at them with something, you need to pass a firepower, unlike what your guys had there. Okay. The uh, Panzer three moved over here on the left-hand side. The three of them fired. Uh, they all missed. And my semos. At the semos, and they all missed. Yeah. The headquarter of the... And again, uh, this is because they're four plus to hit, concealed in long range, so they have sixes. Correct. Formation, uh, tank formation headquarter moved over here, fired. Mm -hmm. uh, did get a hit. Uh, you you were able to displace the hit to the uh, last vehicle, which made uh, gave him a plus one for long range. Plus one armor, yeah. Plus one armor, so I missed I because made of that. Well, I made well, my you armor. Missed. You made yeah. the armor safe. Yes. Yeah. You... The 20 tank guns fired, and we were able to uh, get rid of a base. Putting three, uh, three shots, three hits. Yeah. 
the two bases of infantry uh, fired as well, putting two additional hits, so getting rid pinned. of the base, pinning yeah. your infantry. Yeah, I'm hoping that the enhanced status of these guys makes it on two plus, but I think it's motivated on a three. The only thing that fired over here is the martyr. Because uh, you failed your blitz, otherwise. Failed my blitz. Yeah. Uh, one martyr fired. Uh, needed sixes. All I got is five, so didn't manage to hit. Yeah, so you needed fours, plus one for long range, plus one for failing the blitz. Correct. Okay. That's it. So that's the end of your turn one? Correct. My turn two. On my turn two, I did a bit of a gamble, uh, a large bit of a gamble. I moved my Elephantinos into here, trying to get uh, two side armor shots into those guys. Uh, missed. The Scout Car HQ tried for the side, side shots. Missed. Frontal shots. Missed. Some Aventes hit, but he made his armor saves. Um, my increased skill mortars ranged in on the guns. Uh, but he made a save. And my gun trucks shot at them and he made a save. Mm -hmm. Over here, with all these shots hitting these guys on fives, I'm trying to get rid of this other platoon. Uh, I moved my tanks to kind of be behind this uh, forest area here. Um, only managed to bail out um, one of these. Um, these guys are behind the crest of the hill. So I made, uh, these aren't wide open shots from these tanks, although it looks that way. Uh, and I was only able to kill a couple um, of these guys from my MGs. So thus ends my turn two. Uh, yeah, your turn three. Wow. No, my turn two. Your turn two? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. So turn the, two, by the way. Turn two. The Pezzi three platoon here failed their blitz move again. Again, so they chose to move in the. Um, uh, Field, get closer mm -hmm. to some of NT. Short range, Within fired. 16, yeah. Needed fives. Because I failed the blitz, needed six, so failed my uh, three shots. Mm -hmm. The headquarter blitz out of uh, immediate range yeah. of the NT. And I'm just going to move the camera down because yeah. you are tr trying to be hull down behind hull down, the, the yes. hill here. Fired, eight machine guns. Eight machine gun shots hit five times to pin with no casualties. I made all my saves, three plus. Two oh, yeah, over here. Open, uh, two hits. Uh, resulting in a kill and, and a, a bailout. Bail. Yeah. Those guys this shot. This guy shot with the uh, PZ uh, 2.8 uh, centimeter. Missed. Missed. Over here. Uh, over here, the 2 p the 2.8 centimeter PZ shot at the tank. Missed. Uh, six shot. Uh, no, five shots of uh, machine gun in the house. Well, first the one guy that was here. Correct. Passed his cross. Mm -hmm. Made it up there. Correct. Resulting in five uh, shots of machine gun in the house with non uh, non hitting. Yeah. Fired one martyr uh, at this uh, tank. After failing your blitz. For After the failing my blitz for the second time, time. Yeah. So needing six missed. Yeah, and you missed. Yeah. So not so not a very good turn for the uh, the Germans. So now we're going to go to turn three. Uh, the clutch roll is going to be getting the scout car commander back in which is easy on a 4 plus, well, 50-50, but then, because um, he'll be the only guy in command, because the other guy's way back there, thanks, Andrew, uh, then I can make a 5 plus, but if I pass it, <laughs> I get side armor shot, so we'll <laughs> see. All right, my turn three, a tactical moved up here. Um, both my tank units are trying to use the crest of the hill. <sighs> he made all his saves. AT6 versus front armor 2 on the Martyrs. Brutal. My infantry stayed put. My mortars uh, pinned the pack 38s. Oh, yeah. And in the freak show, my scout car did get back in and roll his 5 plus. <laughs> so he moved over there, trying to get a side armor shot. He dashed across here. Uh, the 90 mils took some pot shots downrange. Uh, and the Semo Ventes uh, killed one, bailed one. So that's how my turn three ends. Um, Panzer three is a protected ammo, I'm pretty sure. So if you don't pass it, then there's a test to me being on those guys. Um, and he moved his guys behind the crest of the hill there. Um, my Elephantinos dug in, but remained pinned down. Your turn three, Chris. Yes, uh, so... Movement. Blitz the the red, uh, the red eight, and move them tactical to uh, join the infantry. 
fired uh, at this platoon and mm -hmm. bailed out. Bail out one, hit two vehicles, miss uh, for destruction, and bail out one. Mm -hmm. And your PBZ 41 from this building bailed out the other two? Ba bailed out the other two, yes. Luckily, I remounted on a two plus. Yes, Thank unfortunately. You over here, uh, we fired six shot, destroying yeah. one and bailing out two. Yeah, so if I don't remount, there's some tests to be made over here. Do they remount on two? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remount on okay. two. Let's not talk about it then. Ah, <laughs> I might roll once. Over here, finally the killed. TX tank finally killed the, yeah. Uh, the Ricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, these two missed, th these two shot, and uh, sorry, this Kill. two shot and bail out, bail out the commander. Yeah. These two shot and destroyed the uh, left the hand guy. side. Yeah, I'm going to move my uh, platoon command over. And yeah, it's to be said that these guys blitzed so that Correct. this building is in the way of my uh, yes. my uh, heavy AT trucks. Correct. So there's that. Cool, so it's my turn four. Let's see what I can do. Uh, my turn four, over on this end of the battlefield, I pretty much did nothing. Uh, he did the... <laughs> The lone um, uh, scout car did make its 5+, plus, and there's, the, in fact, the dice there. I tactical moved here. I did hit on a 5+, plus because of the plus 1 for being out of command after my tactical move, but he made a save. Um, I killed... I end up using the uh, Elephantinos to shoot, and I killed one of the uh, Pack 38s. And they're pinned, so they're going to have to take a test uh, going forward. And I was able to, because I did this first, um, the bombardment from the mortars um, is here. I hit them. Uh, didn't cause any actual um, uh, damage, but I mean, he made his saves, but they're pinned, and that's going to be ranged in there. Um, but the salient point is um, I made... Uh, five out of six two plus remounts on my uh, M14s, and I moved behind the crest of the hill, behind the martyrs, blew up the martyrs. So that is that. On we go to Chris's turn four. So again, I, I don't think I'll be able to wipe out this infantry unless I assault with all of this, but then I have to pin them first. But I mean, once he wipes out my Semaventes, I've got nothing over here. Really, so eh, we'll see. It's gonna be a race to each other's objectives. Didn't even no, Chris didn't even do anything. Ah, ah, no. So uh, failed the blitz. Failed the blitz here. Yeah. Um, backed up. Backed up anyway. Yeah, missed this. Mm -hmm. These guys hit, but I made my armor saves. Correct. Um, the Pibs 41 from here shot and missed at this because they remained pinned. The MGs shot and did make a firepower uh, once for the one guy that yeah. failed. Over yonder, made a million shots, but I made armor saves at the yin yang from yes. both the 8 rads mm -hmm. and the Pibs 41 that's sitting in the corner Correct. of this, in this window here. The infantry fired and missed. And missed. So yeah. it's my turn five. Correct. Um, Again, we were laughing because if he didn't move these guys back and this guy passes his 5-plus test, I would win the game. So he at least didn't move these guys back after failing the blitz. But now let's see if my lone guy can uh, pass his test yet again. So my turn 5, I moved these guys up and he made all of his saves. Seven shots, made all of his saves. Over here, I... Didn't hit anybody else. They're still pinned. Um, he made his test. He shot a tank. Mm -hmm. And he bailed him out. Uh, my Semaventes did absolutely sweet FA. Um, my big 90 millimeters missed over here. So really, on your turn five, if he doesn't remount... That's it. All because this guy made three in a row. Uh, three command tests in a it's row. It's only a five plus. Though. It's only a five plus though, but he's made a, a six and a five and a five. We're just gonna live roll it. So it's on remount on a what three plus? Yeah. <gasps> now it's a motivation test. Motivation test. Five. Oh, they're motivated. So he's motivated. fine, yeah. but that guy's gone. He's down to one tank. Yeah. All because of this guy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna paint all sorts of kill markings on this one guy. <laughs> 
All right, Chris, it's turn five. Uh, do um, your moves. Yeah. Over there, you didn't do too many moves. I haven't moved anything over here. Except you shot, shot, bailed out a uh, uh, 1441. And destroyed. And your Pibs 41 popped one of those, yeah. Well done. These guys are all by themselves now. Yeah. Because... Complete command, failed their blitz. But these guys did a tactical. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. Um, I killed... Two. Yeah, I, I got four hits. Killed two. You killed one. And I fell back with my Elephantino. So I'm falling back. We're both pinned. That's how this sits. You only managed to bail out this one guy. <laughs> and you didn't get back in here. You had to point it out. <laughs> I did have to point it out. Because if you lose a platoon because of this yeah. guy living... Oh, yeah. and it's my turn six. Shall we do this live? Yes, go ahead. So let's see if I remount the vehicle, which is on a 4+. plus. No. Nope. Now let's see if I pass my motivation, or my, uh, it's a five plus. No. Yeah. So the, finally the platoon is gone. Excellent. Still hero though. Yes. But next turn when that doesn't remount, <sighs> I'll do my turn six. He's here. Okay, so we just did a pretty important round here. Um, Oops. In my shooting, all I managed to do was bail out these two lousy 8 rads, which still proved clutch because it meant all the machine guns that they would have provided for the multi-assault and defensive fire were no longer there. However, let's put our attention over here. My Elephantinos, unpinned, walked over here. My CO tank, which has been hiding behind this building all damn game, drove up here. Six machine gun shots and needing fives. Um, one shot each, needing fives. Um, but the one model that brought this unit down to below three infantry was, drum mm -hmm. roll, the big, the big gun. My Semoventes ended up double bailing. That one that the scout car ended up bailing, I double bailed it with the Semoventes. He failed it, so now they're testing. Kind of in no small part to that guy there who's now dead. So over yonder, I had the small platoon that was um, upgraded, assaulted his platoon. So he had his CO and 2IC were here. I MG'd the one guy, the 2IC, so his CO is here. I assaulted the one guy that was in here um, from the platoon that was in here. Uh, end up killing him, which caused the remainder of the platoon to be pinned. And I'd positioned my second platoon to be right next to it so that now that they were pinned, instead of eating three shots per, I was only eating two shots per. I charge in. I lost a bunch of guys in defensive fire, not enough to pin them. And after a big back and forth, um, he brought, I brought down his platoon to below breaking. He brought down my platoon to below breaking with defensive fire. This one here, it was, it was mangled from the previous shots that were over here from turn two. And in the close assaults, I'm down to exactly what I thought was three models, but this is actually my uh, formation commander. So my uh, Bersaglieri are two strong left. There isn't three models, so there's a test there as well. So there's a whole raft of tests to be taken. Um, but on his turn six, he's got a whole bunch of tests to make too. Yes. Um, do these guys get back in? Do these guys stay? I mean, if not, I mean, I'm going to win the game. Uh, I, might, I might be within four here. I think you're right so, there. yeah, so we'll, I think we'll do one more turn. Because it is getting a little bit late, but, I mean, you're not working tomorrow. No. That's, that's not a Navy beard, I see. So, <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep on going and uh, see what happens. So at the start of Chris's turn, uh, he f lost a lot of motivation. Lost the infantry. Lost the infantry. The uh, however, one eight rad got back in. Yeah. And passed motivation. Correct. So eight rads are good. The infantry are down. Mm -hmm. These infantry uh, passed the pin, uh, but failed the um, more motivation. motivation because I only had two bases yeah. left. And your double bail tank failed to get back in. Um, no, did get back. Did in. get back in, but failed the morale test. Yeah. Or the the good yeah. spirit test. So now we're going through formation. So yeah. your tank formation has what left? Just HQ. So let me see. And you just read the formation, yeah. Andrew, yeah. is you tank. need two units. So my two tank. units on the table. 
So my tank, formation. my tank formation, all it ha all it has left is the HQ. So okay. that formation is now gone. So it, it leaves the table. My okay, good. So my infantry formation, all it has left is the two IC of the company. That's it. And this. And then I have support. support. So that means these guys run too. So and these guys run. When they leave, the support leaves. Support leaves. There's no Correct. Room. So, as I take these units off, the cards for support, infantry formation, yeah. and tank formations are gone. Now, to be fair, though, let's see if they would have stayed. Mm, they would have. Let's see if they would have stayed. They would not have. So that's platoon here. So that's two. Yeah. So this is left with one guy and no the mortars are part mortars, of this anyway yeah. so that formation is okay the trucks are not part of the formation the neither the scout cars the semoventes and this is part of the formation so they're okay there um but you did get one well the scout trucks died that's really all that matters yeah. Well, and this platoon. <laughs> well, that's true. And this other platoon. So you did get your two platoons at the end of the day. Um, so that was a wild game. You rolled a lot of bad a motivations of bad and bad things. Um, but what did you think in terms of the Italians? Do you think that the, these are too strong, the M14s? I mean, they're not really good at killing tanks, but they're excellent at killing stuff like that. I don't know. You, when you, you guys' it, thoughts. When you put everything in, in, into perspective, you know, the, the armors, the, the front armor, the seat, side armor, mm -hmm. the anti tank, I think they're fair. But what the remounting on the 2 Plus is what well, is It's the remount on 2 Plus that, yeah. that, is, that is a, a bit out of this world. Yeah. But it's because you've all. you got to kill them. Well, yeah. they always remount on 2 Plus. They always do? Yeah. And yeah, even if they're upgraded, oh, wow. it, like it's unupgraded, it's 2 Plus. plus. For them. Ouch. The thing that I find that's broken, or I don't know if broken is the right word, but the remount on 2+, plus when the firepower in mid-war is brutal, like yeah. you're looking at 4+, yeah. plus normally. To be fair, these guys fail so many blitzes. True. These guys should have all been dead. Yes. Like, really, realistically. Yeah. But, but, and the amount of blitzes you failed over there to kill the sum of The sum of Ventos should have also been dead. So I think there's some bad that, luck. Tanks that get back in on a 2+, plus when they're almost always getting bailed because we fail firepowers anyways, yeah. is just... Honestly, I, it's I, very I, strong. It's I, very strong. That's the only that's the only comment I would have to make is the two plus. Otherwise, I think they're a fair, yeah. fair opponent. Some Oventes are high strength but short range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe you know what? Me be able to move the elephant the elephantino guns into here to threaten. Like we talked about it, I was able to threaten like on this hill. You couldn't really do your sweep around correct, too much. Correct. Um. The mortars actually did all right. These I were didn't... guys were in a perfect position. Oh, yeah. yeah. They were, yeah. They stuff to use with the center. Yeah. 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 All right. Any further? I mean, it's just the first game of Italians, but I mean. Um, you know what? That first round, that first turn of uh, dash 12, follow me 4. The follow me was on a 2 and 3 plus. Yeah. No, it's on a 2 plus. So that got my infantry real close real quick. So in a board where, just zooming out, where you've got a town that's on your half, but still attainable by me on turn one. Correct. Yeah. Um, mistakes I made, like this one unit that was not dug in for all those turns. I should have machine gunned them way early, but uh, that's just my fault. To be taken seriously. And let's be fair. Yeah. That, that one scout car staying in and really causing the... Like, that was just hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. It was still a fun game. I mean, we, yeah, yeah, we played to a 4-3. They're well opponent. Yeah. yeah. And look at these guys. They got all the way back here. Crazy. And they all survived, really. Pretty much. Uh, about two of them? Yeah. Total? Yeah. Well, you know what, though? But had you had any one of these Panzers anywhere near here, it that would, would have been... Different. Yeah. And to be fair, the mission, too, like, it was one of those where we were, we were going back and forth um, with each unit. So there was a big chess match. I mean, we didn't even get really... We almost should have filmed that because there's a lot of decision-making of... You moved your spearhead, but you didn't deploy anything out of it because you weren't sure. I did the same thing, you know, moved my guys up to spearhead, but didn't, you know, didn't, you know, kind of reveal my hand. And as soon as I placed my M14s over there, you placed them here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after that, I was like, okay, now everything is going to be hidden. So there was a bit of a tactical thing there, but yeah. uh, it was a fun game. And uh, Italians are certainly fun. Um, being hit on a four plus sure makes them a lot more survivable than. Uh, in the past, I think that more than anything. 
Um, yeah, those tanks. If six, they get, six machine guns on these things. Yes. Yeah, they're very. Like, that was wild. But wild. Any high ROF. Reasonable anti tank will is going to kill them because they're front of Mark III. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like if, they're I mean, they're good at killing this, light stuff. If I played the martyr better, right? yeah. if, I, if I didn't mm -hmm. fail all my roll, yeah. and, and brought them back instead of trying to maximize this hit. Well, at any one time, six shots sh I should have wiped out a platoon. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. so, I yeah, did, you're right. and, and you remember, I did kill and, and bail out the other three. But I did yeah. a triple remount. Yeah. yeah, you did a triple yeah. remount on two plus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll need a few more games for the final verdict. Mm -hmm. Obviously, final verdict, but. First game was uh, success, success, but it's still fun. Okay. Thanks, that guys. It was a lot of fun. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having us.